people who who um, who read the novel will, I, I hope, be struck by um, the this other place that's in the book called the Homeland, which is operates like a some cross between. Uh, you know, sort of a, a one of the ghettos of the Second World War and uh, an occupied territory, like um, well, like any occupied territory. I mean, I was the most recent one in my experience is occupied Iraq. Um, but I was, you know, I was drawing on many of these different resources, and I'd say 1984 is actually, as I as I've said in the past, is kind of the book that's operating in the background. I wanted to not just take what I learned from that novel, which. Is, is more complex, I think, than people give it credit for. I mean, it really is about the, I, the human idea of totalitarianism rather than a particular regime. Um, but, I, you know, I, I, people say, did you do research into this? I'd say mostly I just kind of looked into my own heart, you know, and tried to figure out the human impulses that could lead not only to this kind of cruelty, but to the particular kind of obedience that needs to be enlisted on behalf of of such a, such a regime to kind of get the cooperation of people. What about human beings allows this to occur at all? And it's, of course, that's one of the great questions of the 20th century. Um, a very important book for me, actually, in educating me about this is a book that I, I hope is still in print. I read it many years ago. I loved it so much, I went out and found the writer and said, I love your book. And it's a novel called Tales of the Master Race by the writer Marcy Hirschman, who, in fact, had some, I think it was, a grandparent and cousins and a number of family members who were lost in the Holocaust. And you know, I wasn't writing about that in this novel, but that book explores the question of complicity and how that actually works, how, how, how good people can participate in something like that, and the, sort of the, the tricks and the mechanisms that lead people into complicity and uh, um, into being, in a sense, collaborators.